Hi, this is Simon from Fingers on Plastic. A couple of days ago, I did a, just before I went to TFN, I did a video about um, Transformers Prime figures. Um, and that I'd really gotten into the Transformers Prime show again. Uh, yeah. And that... I can't figure out what that red thing is in the corner. There we go. Oh. Right, a <laughs> couple of days ago I did a video about uh, Transformers Prime figures and uh, I pulled out my Prime figures and I said when I go to TF Nation I want to um, pull out some more and have a good look and a good go through. So, I did. I managed to buy a good number of Prime figures. I filled quite a few gaps, not quite all the gaps, but a good number of gaps. I got a couple of Vircons. I've got one open here. So first I'm going to look at the figures I'm not going to open. So a Vircon, but we're going to have a closer in-depth look at a Vircon in a minute. Not that you can see it because of the glare. See I've got extra glare now because the cat ruined the neck curtain. So, the neck curtain before was actually sort of, um, it prevented some of the glare, but now there's no neck curtain. We have glare. But anyway, we're going to have a better look at him in a minute. Interesting side note, has anybody else noticed who collects the Prime figures notice the discrepancy between what's pictured on the box and what is then represented? Uh, mainly sort of in the colouring, transformations, I mean, they, they all seem to be like, uh, there's clearly paint or something on the gun and there is no paint on the gun, but we'll come to that in a minute. Anyway. I did get RC, who looks like an enormous motorbike. Uh, I couldn't find her loose. I'm going to keep her in her box. And the same for Arachnid. Although she does look really cool. So again, next year, trans not, not that I'm thinking about Transformers TF Nation next year already but I am it's prime based uh, which is really exciting for me um, so hopefully I'll again I'll be on the hunt um, so without further ado I'm going to pause for a moment to move the camera down and look at some figures so here's the gang we're looking at today we're gonna start with I'm gonna knock them all over if I fidget um, Mr. Magnus here will move Wheeljack to We're going to end on Wheeljack because. Here is Mr. Magnus. <laughs> Let's go right and say in robot mode, this dude's a bit of a mess. Uh, he's a bit flimsy, a bit flaky, and he can't actually hold this. If you put this in his hand, he just falls in a heap. Um, I'm just going to sit him down nicely. As for this, I get it's the forge hammer and what have you, but it seems to unfold to that, and I'm not really sure what to do with that. It's, um, if I'm going to be completely and brutally honest, I don't really care for it. This, this will not be... You can't hold it. You, I think you can sort of store it on the back. Which is okay. But all in all... <laughs> uh, in the cartoon... Uh, I, I like Michael Ironside. But, um... I don't know. It really wasn't my... I didn't care much for him in the cartoon, if I'm going to be honest. Um, he was alright, he was just a little bit too um, militant, but I did like the nod when they were talking about clones, him and Prime shared a look, which was interesting, but it never went further than that. Anyway, up next we have Vircon. I said, on the box it shows a lot more paint than you get on him. But yeah, he's quite nice. He's let's face it, he's a lackey. 
I would like a few more just to look, you know, like they're trying to be threatening. I like that he sort of holds his gun and then you, you fold the hand round to hold the gun and it gets that sort of look like the cartoon. And he can stand. No waist, but he's, other than that, he's quite potent. Weird arms. His arms sort of fold in a very peculiar way. They do on most of these figures, actually. Nice knee. I like everyone's got their knee spikes. Everybody has knee spikes, all of them. It's it's you're not in Transformers Prime if you don't have knee spikes. Nice bit of paint on the shins. Uh and the back. He looks nice from just about every angle, really, to be perfectly honest. You know, if you, and I love the way that the top of the car folds up into the leg. Um it's it's funny that I'm surprised they haven't revisited that with certain other figures from recent lines because obviously this guy's now what 10 years old nine eight nine ten years old well next year TFN's based on prime because TFN's 10 next year so he's eight or nine um, and there's some engineering in this and which is better than figures we're getting today just I uh, Right, there is right, the bonnet, roof and spoiler of a car which is hidden in a leg which tabs down nicely. I would have liked them to maybe fold around and clip but I get why they don't because they're obviously a bit of bulk. But yeah, he's great. Really great figure. I'm actually really happy with this guy. Knockout. I love Knockout in the cartoon. He actually has some laugh out loud funny moments. I like that he can store his staff on his back. Uh, he looks pretty good. Bit flimsy, but uh, like posability is there. You know, he is posable. And he. And he stands, and he's, 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 you know, he's good. No waist, I like his his chest and things like that. I love the fact he's also got smirk. These guys have also got wicked light piping. Like, all of them have got really great light piping. If this is going to come up, or am I just going to blind people? Ooh. I said, I'm shining a light in your eye now, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no, he's um, he's cool, and I have to say, I like him a lot. Bumblebee! Oh, sorry, I forgot to say, he does hold his staff. He has this weird staff, which I don't know why bends like that. And falls to pieces. Again, I don't really... I think... Does he have it? I'm trying to remember in the cartoon if he has a staff. Either way, it clips on his back quite nicely. Bumblebee! Bumblebee also has light piping, but I think what they needed to do with him was put like another hinge on this bit here, so this bit folded back, because his light piping's ferocious, but it's tricky to get the angle because of that. But yeah, he looks like Bumblebee. It's really cool, nice little face sculpt. No waist articulation, but again, they've, they've all got like Van Damme and Full Monty's. They've all got knees, thigh swivels and foot waggle. They've all got nice elbows, all of them. So yeah, again, um, and you know, quite clean back. He's not... He is not an unattractive figure. You see some figures, you know, it's quite, you know, the profile is quite clean at the side, which I like. Now we have to go for the pièce de résistance. This wheeljack figure is awesome. I think he's second only to Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime first edition, because the transformation on that is, again, amazing, amazingly good. He um, represents the character extraordinarily well, if you've seen the show. And I, you've got options for days with his swords. I just liked putting them on his arms because it gives them a more sort of dangerous look. 
A very clean back. The leg transformation's wicked. That's the only way to describe it. Really good fun. Uh, I, I feel a bit bad because I was in the queue paying for this guy. <laughs> and, um, oh, um, should the Optimus Prime cosplay last year st uh, Starfire? Someone fired this year. She's like, do you have um, Transformers Prime wheel, Jack? And they're like, yeah, we've got one left. And I'm stood there holding it. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. If it had been any of the other guys that I was holding at the time, I'd have let. But Wheeljack was, he was like pretty much one of the top of the list figures, unfortunately. On the bright side, she did pick up Ratchet and I missed him. So Ratchet's missing. Uh, Shockwave, Ratchet and Soundwave were the three I'm missing. So she, she did get Soundwave. Again, light piping. Just really, really good figures. Um, they're a good size as well. Let's bring in. See, they do sort of scale with the siege line. Mm, a little bit smaller. You can tell the figures are getting a bit smaller nowadays, but it's not, it's not awful. Yeah, so um, these were the siege guys. I'm going to get them transformed up and see what we can see with them in there. Uh, Vehicle mode. So here they all are in vehicle modes, and as expected, they all look pretty great, to be honest. Um, first of all, we, we do need to address the elephant in the room. Like I said, this is off the side, but weapon, the only area all of them get a fail is with weapon storage. I mean, Mm. What on earth? Mm hmm. So, um, I don't much care for the weapon storage. So, I'm going to take all of these weapons off. Oh, for goodness sake. Ooh. See, Magnus's looks okay, but again, mainly because I've put the big chuff hammer to the side. Uh, they all roll really nicely when you've transferred them properly. Magnus definitely comes into his own in this mode. Much, much nicer looking beastie. Who does roll but apparently not very well on trays. Because <laughs> guess who couldn't be bothered to set up the light box today? Uh, knockout's quite beautiful. Although, in again, in the box art, uh, he clearly has painted back wheels. Whereas the figure, no painted in the wheels. Which is a shame, because other than that, he's pretty perfect. He's because he's a little bit vain, so a bit more paint on him would have been nice. But it's it's nice enough. And it rolls beautifully. Um, Bumblebee looks like Bumblebee. His spoiler could be a tad more pronounced, but other than that, and maybe a bit of paint on the old uh, exhaust. Although I might just get a sharpie and go around those. I've got a red sharpie for St uh, Star Scream's head, which I'm going to do. So I might just get like a, a grey or silver sharpie and see if I can put his paint his exhausts. Uh, again, roll beautifully. Now the stars of this particular show, and it'd be I'd be hard pressed to pick a favourite. His tra his whole transformation's really smooth, really quite good. Again, just. So well done. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit of underneath, but who displays it like that? His legs are one of the coolest transformations I've done in so long. And he looks amazing. You can, I think you can also, again with the options for the story, that's not too bad. It'd just be nice if you could put them underneath. Is there any way you can put them underneath? Mm. No, 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 no. 
Ah, and so for him, there's nowhere for his gun to go. But yeah, no, these two look fantastic. And all, as a group, they all look, you know, good. I can't remember him looking like this in the cartoon. These guys look great. So, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this wave. Um, I'm probably going to... Uh, is that a, who is it? I, I want Ratchet, Shockwave and Soundwave. So if anybody sees Transformers Prime, those three, do let me know. Um, hello, Jasper. You're not going to jump into shot today? Good boy. Um, that about wraps this one up. Like I said, TF Nation 2020 is all about, you know, the theme is going to be Transformers Prime, so I am super excited. I will be doing the weekend. Uh, the Friday, I'm going to be going Friday morning, returning home Sunday evening is my plan. I'm literally sat waiting for a telephone call to find out if I've got a job or not. So there's a mild degree of, um, what did Nick say about his trousers and that idea thing, you know, trousers shattering. You know, I'm a bit nervous, but hopefully my phone will ring soon so I've got a job and then I can start um, planning out. But for this video, which I apologise has been all over the place, it's been a bit of a mess. I've been trying to tidy my room and tidying my room means basically everything's a complete mess. <laughs> Um, you know, it happens. But anyway, from me and the Transformers Prime Brigade, thank you very much. Robots.